Today started off in light winds and ended up with me wishing I had a smaller number 5 rig, as the gusts were becoming stronger than expected as the afternoon wore on. Today was all about testing the experimental smaller rudder and more trials with the combination of standard foils with the centerboard. There is so much fine tuning to do to get the foil set up just right, and you can see in the video times when it looks good and times when it all goes wrong, though the goings or wrongs are often exacerbated by the fact that I'm also operating the video camera and I've not yet mastered the knack of sailing the boat through the video camera screen. How guys and girls fly drones using goggles, I just have no idea. Up until now I've been favouring the relatively squat rigs to keep the centre of effort of the sails as low as possible, but I'm wondering if my upwind performance is suffering as a result of this. So I'm also looking at some small tall aspect ratio rigs, such as the one here, to see how the boat goes. This rig also has a more flexible mast to see if it helps in the gusts. The smaller rudder T-foil shows some promise but was constructed with a downward curve on the tips and this is causing a wobble when foiling at speed. So we'll try a smaller T-foil but flat this time just like all the others. The centerboard was intended for use on its own in very light winds and not to be combined with foils but there's currently a clear advantage with the combination as the boat sails to windward much more efficiently, but in this mode the centreboard could be a couple of centimetres shorter and have less area, as whilst it makes a big improvement on directional stability, especially to windward, it also encourages healing as the boat is not skidding sideways in the gusts. It really depends on what type of sailing you want to do. If just having fun, leave the centreboard ashore. If sailing around a race course in a decent upward leg, use it. So here at last is a capsize, it is the first one that's happened with this boat. You can see what has happened, the boat has fallen off the foils and nose dived. If I had not been holding the video camera I could quite likely have saved the boat by easing the sails, but left hand was on the camera so over it went. Happy to report all hulls stayed dry and the boat sailed on as soon as it was righted. The gusts later in the afternoon were stronger than I expected, and sailing the boat in these conditions need a lot of concentration, but it can be very rewarding, trying to keep the boat just kissing the water when sailing upwind, constantly playing with the T-foil angle of attack, to reduce the angle of attack of the foils to a minimum. You don't need a lot of lift in these conditions.
Next weekend I will spend more time with the mini foils, and since the weather forecast is similar to this weekend, I'll see if I can put together a skinny small rig for the afternoon.